Hell yeah, what's up guys? This is Chris Pike. My friends call me Big C. I'm back again, guys, and today we're going back into the game news. Hell yeah. We've been doing this once or twice a week, but here's the thing. The comments are rolling in, and you're liking it. You're thumbsing it up. You're leaving lots of great comments, and I do appreciate it. This game news section is for gamers, but it's in particular for Freedom Partners and people that are thinking about joining Freedom that play video games and upload content and want to make some money at it. So we're going to try and cover topics that are related and germane to that. All right, let's get into topic one. <laughs> All right, guys, topic one is Sears. <laughs> yeah, you know that place where you buy, like, underwear and stuff like that, or maybe a, a coffee maker? Well, guess what? They also have video games. I didn't really know that, but they were selling video games, hard copy games, but now they've decided to throw in the towel. They're no longer going to sell games, hard copies, and they're doing a clearance sale. So first things first, if you want to pick up a game for a good deal, check out Sears <laughs> and maybe pick up something for your pet while you're there or whatever. But secondly, and more importantly, this raises a huge question with the digital revolution or the digital download. Is that causing these companies that sell like brick and mortar companies that sell hard copies of games to the public? Are they going to be obsolete? Are they going to go the way of the dodo? And there's no I-L in dodo. <laughs> Uh, guys, are they gone? Is a Best Buy going to stop selling video games? Is GameStop going to make it? How are they going to get you to buy $70 games when you trade in six of them for like $4, right? Like, I don't know. I don't know how it works. But joking aside, guys, digital downloads is taking over the game world. Me, personally, I've played four, my last four games. I bought three of them digitally and one of them in store. Now, in order for a store, like a brick and mortar store to make it, I am going to have to assume that they're gonna have to offer something other than just lower prices, although that's a start, but offer lower prices and other enticements to get you into the store buying stuff, all right? So anyways, guys, I don't know where this is going, but if you have a comment or if you have an idea or you wanna talk about this topic, please leave it in the comments below. Let's get on to topic two. All right, guys, topic two is The Witcher 3. <laughs> Why didn't I make this a third topic? I don't know. That's how I roll. Deal with it. But, guys, The Witcher 3, there's a lot going on with this game. A, it's in The Witcher series, and The Witcher series has had great RPG. Those, those are really high-quality RPGs, if you ask me. Secondly, the game's been delayed a few times. Now, game delays are normal. I get that. But this one's been delayed, I think, a second or third time. But the thing is, is it's delayed to May 19th. But back in like January or February or something like that, one of the head guys at the studio said there would be no more delays. Yet, there's another delay. So A, is that an issue? Is that a problem? Should a guy be held to his word? I don't know. I think if somebody says something and they change their mind, they should either have the integrity to say, hey, I was wrong, or just don't make those statements in the first place. But more importantly, is this a good thing? And the reason why I ask if it's a good thing is because with this further delay, they're going to be able to bring the content and do the things that they wanted to do. Now, nobody likes game delays. Uh, thanks, Steam, Valve, whatever. But uh, what do you guys think about this? Also, and here's the other thing, and this is the reveal for the gamers out there. Um, there's a new player character. That's what I meant to say. Her name is Siri. Now, she's not the main character in The Witcher 3, but she has just been revealed. We've got screenshots in the back here, and you will be able to play as her. And she's kind of hot in a weird, creepy way. I better stop that. But anyways, guys, that's The Witcher 3. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Topic 3. All right, guys, the third topic is Assassin's Creed. Yeah, you guys love it. You hate it. You love Ubisoft or you don't like them, whatever. I don't care, not judging. But Ubisoft has released the fourth patch for Assassin's Creed Unity since it released like two months ago. Yeah, guys, they're still trying to fix it up. Now, a lot of you guys are probably wondering, well, doesn't Ubisoft have a QA team? Maybe they would test, you know, some of these things before they release the game for $70 retail or whatever it is. But no, they released it and then they figured they would use the public as their beta testers that just paid all that money for it. Uh, yeah, but joking aside, guys, and I'm not really joking. Um, but anyways, all jokes aside, the patch is available today. It is the fourth patch, and here's the point. It's a monster. It's 6.5 gigabytes. So if you've got a slow internet connection, you should start downloading, downloading it today and you'll have it by Friday, Saturday? No, but anyways, guys, it's there. It's available. If you got the game, download it. Check it out. Thank you, Ubisoft. Topic four. 
Oh yeah, all right guys, the last topic I want to talk about is Grand Theft Auto 5. Yeah, you probably played it on one of the last uh, consoles or on the new generation. The remaster or the redo is really, really good. But here's the thing. We've been waiting a while for online heists. And online heists has now been confirmed. And according to Rockstar, it's coming soon. Now what does that mean? Does that mean January, February? I don't know. It could mean a year for all we know. Who the hell knows? But it's coming soon, guys. So pretty soon you'll be able to go online with your buddy, rob some banks, shoot some people, do whatever you need to do, smack some hoes up, whatever, guys. It's coming and it's coming soon. And the reason why I brought that up is because I got a trailer running in the background so you can see it. So this is what you're going to be getting. All right, guys, that's the news for today. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for everything, guys. All of the feedback. We're going to be rolling this out daily now. I got this. This is your boy, Big C, checking out.